Okay, hello everyone. Uh, this is Tracy. I'm the King Manager from OneBlock, and after a week of or um, uh, Pokedot Hackers on Bangkok Station, uh, we uh, want to welcome the team that interfaced us to uh, give a brief introduction of their project. And today, uh, we want to welcome the team uh, Diab Forge. Uh, we have a uh, Christian here. Uh, Christian, uh, could you uh, be able to introduce yourself and uh, your project? Sure, of course. Hello, everyone. My name is Christian. I'm the founder of Dab Forge. And uh, what it is essentially is think of Microsoft Copilot, so AI coding, but specifically tailored for substrate and ink for building applications on the Polkadot ecosystem. So uh, which track uh, did you pick for the hackathon? Yes, we chose the developer track because essentially we are a developer tool, right? An AI developer tool for developers. So we assumed we thought that that was the most appropriate track to apply for. Cool. And then did you uh, make any like progress after the hackathon is even just a week? A very small one. We did like a slight fine tuning of the model for Substrate specifically. Nothing that major because it was only a week after the hackathon. But yes, we did some slight improvement right after. Then uh, why do you think uh, your project is uh, compatible with the uh, Polkadot ecosystem? Like why do you basically why do you choose Polkadot? Yeah, because essentially, so Substrate, I've always heard, I mean, it's one of the best frameworks for building a blockchains, right? However, it's very difficult to learn based on all the developers that I talk to, right? So you have a really good framework for building something, but it's very hard to use the framework, right? So in that sense, we thought that an AI tool, which makes it easier for developers to learn and use this framework, was like a perfect fit. And uh, do you have any like key features of project that can really attract users? Yeah, so right now the main key features is like a chat where essentially when you start coding, you can like ask it questions. Like for example, code me a simple uh, generic balances palette for it, and it can produce like a very good skeleton for you to then just copy and paste it in your in your code, and then just to play around with it. So we think that what this does specifically is that it lowers the entry barrier a lot for people who are brand new and are just starting out to use it. Because when you first start with Substrate, also in my personal experience, it can be quite intimidating. Mm. Then uh, do you have uh, any plans like uh, the following like couple months or years? Yes, of course. So but essentially the next version of Dapp Forge is that we're going to keep on fine-tuning the model for Substrate and Inc. We're also going to integrate Solidity because in Q1 and Q2 of next year, one big thing coming to Polkadot, it's called Plaza, which essentially people are going to be able to deploy EVM smart contracts directly on Polkadot, which means Solidity, right? So we also want to give that option for Solidity developers to make it easy for them to also deploy on Polkadot as well. So we're going to be adding that feature to the AI model. And then um, a lot of um, like um, developers voted for your project that uh, the, we have a price for developers both. So, um, like, do you have any plans to like expand your community or start to build your community? Yeah, I mean, right now we're building our communities primarily like developers again building on Polkadot. But like, I think once we also integrate Solidity, I think also like some Solidity developers are going to come into the community, which the goal is to bring them also on to Polkadot. We also have plans down the road to add uh, an option also just for Rust developers as well, because we also think that the Rust, well, actually, Rust is the main language you should learn before coming to build on Polkadot now, because Substrate and Inc are just Rust frameworks. So by also including stuff for general Rust developers, we think we can grow the overall pie of the people we can target and also help to grow the ecosystem. Cool. Uh, then, uh, like, how do you feel about uh, this hackathon? Like, do you have any suggestions for developers that uh, are willing to join our next hackathon? Or, yeah. yeah. Yeah, overall, the hackathon was very good. I liked it. I also liked the workshops. Those were very insightful, right? Where you also sometimes you have special uh, speakers and guests giving insights about different topics. Those were always very insightful. Um, I recommend uh, people to just apply, to be honest. I mean, it doesn't hurt. You get to build cool stuff and also meet new people. So I'd say it, it definitely is beneficial to try it. Uh, thank you, uh, Christian. Uh, thank you, uh, Diab Force.